Entrepreneurship is the art, the craft, the skill, the discipline of solving the problems that you see facing you in ways that deliver a high quality product to your customer and a high quality of life to you. Fundamentally, a good corporate citizen is one who understands that profit is not the purpose of doing business. As much as people often say that that's, you know, it's just business, ma'am, I'm just here to make a profit, that's the only focus, don't talk to me about this social responsibility stuff, but in fact, profit is a side effect of doing business. First step, if you have a business that doesn't make any money, guess what? You're out of business. That's the least competent thing you can do. You, you just put a lot of people out of work. So no margin, no mission. But what we're saying is we have values in addition to just that. To me, if all you're doing is making a profit, you know, that, that isn't so great. We can do a lot more than that. We can do profit and purpose, we hope. With John Mackey, the founder of Whole Foods, who said, if profit is important, but as a business person, that's not why I'm in business. There are a lot of other values that I care about. I want to have fun. And if you look at an entrepreneur, you look an entrepreneur in the eyes, the thing you will see most of all is this sparkle, this desire to have fun, to innovate, to try something new. The people who are willing to take action, who are willing to, to, to break all patterns, I think that's a good thing. When you tap into this untapped energy that everybody kind of keeps locked up inside them when they come to the workplace and only they have the key. But if you give them a challenge that really resonates with their values, you have got a powerful force. So leadership is about tapping into those kinds of things and energizing the workforce to want to do something that's important to the business, but also it's important to them as human beings. Part of it with a customer, the thing is, how are you going to treat them? You're going to treat them like your neighbor, your friend, or you're going to treat them like a wallet? And you'll get, you'll get the way you treat them. If you treat them like a neighbor friend, you might be pretty, pretty surprised at how customers can be very understanding and, and hopefully you have a long-term relationship with them. I hope. <laughs> Others are a pain in the neck and fire them. <laughs> right. Think small. Think about all of the ways that you can grow and you can become very creative and very rich just by doing one thing or one cluster of things in one place very, very well. We have all the assets that we need right now. Every asset that we need to solve the problems in the country. The only thing is those assets are not in alignment with each other. If you look at why most decisions get made, it's because we cared about something, one way or the other. And that's why we made that decision. So let's be honest about that. Let's bring what it is that we care about into a conversation in business. As owners, as employees, as workers, let's start talking about what matters to us. Mm -hmm.